measles cases in B.C. continue to be low, with just five confirmed cases so far, all travel-related. But elsewhere, those numbers are exploding. Public health agencies say Ontario has confirmed nearly 600 cases since October. The state of Texas is reporting 400 cases and two deaths, a number that saw an increase of 20 percent in the last three days. And experts warn of further spread due to low vaccination rates. Now, we know that school-age kids are the hardest hit by measles. The virus can leave a lasting damage to lungs, the immune system, even brain damage. And CBC's medical columnist Dr. Melissa Lem tells us that she's been going through questions and concerns from parents, and she, of course, joins us now. Dr. Lem, uh, what have you heard from parents right now? Well, I started having these conversations about measles and vaccination more often about two months ago when we first started hearing about that outbreak in Texas. And it really intensified around when the six-year-old girl who was unvaccinated died of the measles. Mm. And these conversations range from questions about should I get my child vaccinated early before 12 months because we have upcoming plane travel or are my child's vaccines up to date or is this fever and this rash measles and it makes sense that parents are talking about this because the majority would do anything and everything they can to keep their children safe and vaccination against measles is an important part of that. Now what is the youngest that uh, kids can get the MMR vaccine? Babies as young as six months old qualify for the MMR vaccine, but we recommend that to people who are traveling outside of Canada to countries where there are active measles cases. And the reason for this is when you're younger, your immune system typically isn't as mature and you don't mount, this, mount to the same long-lasting immune response as older children. And also up to 12 months old, you still have some of those protective circulating antibodies from um, your mom's pregnancy in your system. So if you do get vaccinated early, we do recommend that you get two more vaccines after that, so the typical one at 12 months and then another one when you reach school age between four to six years old. So basically like a booster for that then? That's right. Okay. Why do you think that uh, vaccination rates have been dropping over the years? Are there certain reasons that come to mind? Have, you know, parents told you about certain concerns? I think this is multifactorial, and one of the main reasons is lack of access to family doctors. There are hundreds of thousands of patients across BC right now who don't have family doctors to keep them up to date with vaccines. Also, there was an issue during the COVID-19 pandemic where there were fewer public health clinics and school vaccination clinics. And also, unfortunately, there's a big problem with misinformation and disinformation around vaccine safety. And so I think parents really are starting to, to wake up, though, as we see more and more cases and resurgences of these diseases that were once eradicated to the severe harms and they want to keep their kids safe. And I think the bottom line is that vaccines are safe and effective and they do save lives. And, and just one more time, do you think that we'll see kind of a, this trend reverse? I think we, we will because as parents, I mentioned, we will do anything and everything we can to protect our kids' health. And so as we see those cases of hospitalizations, I do want to point out that within Canada, one in 10 people who get measles are hospitalized. In the U.S., it's one in five as we see these serious cases, parents will start to take notice and make sure that their kids are up to date with their vaccines. And Dr. Lem, we have about 30 seconds, but just wondering if you can kind of tell the public how contagious measles can be. Why is it significant to look into this? It's incredibly contagious. It's more contagious than COVID, more contagious than Ebola. If you walk into a room and you have measles, nine out of 10 people who are unvaccinated will leave that room with measles. So it's very contagious, it's very serious, and it's very important that kids get vaccinated. All right. Thank Thank you so much. That again is Dr. Melissa Lem joining us today.